Hi folks, I'm Marcel and you are watching The Pulse. Today we're gonna dive into the topic of taking NMN over the longer term. A lot of people take NMN for two weeks, two months, and they report results. 10, 20% of people say I'm not feeling anything, but you know that's even more dangerous in my view because you need it longer to experience results. But neither here nor there. Most people are feeling results, that's great. I think there's a misconception of what NMN actually does for you. Because you take it for two weeks or two months and you feel like it's a glorified coffee. You know, this isn't glorified caffeine. It's doing things to your body that you're going to feel more and more over time. And the information that I share with you comes from my own experience, experiences uh, of my viewers, thousands of whom have started taking NMN because of this channel. Thank you, I'm happy for you. You've been reporting your results and your progress in the comments over the last couple of years, and it's been really rewarding and exciting to see. Um, and just fully expect that to continue, as long as we can continue to protect the supply of NMN. I've also talked to scientists. I've also interviewed doctors prescribing NMN, not only to their patients, but to themselves. I've talked to other channel creators and followed other channels that have reported their own progress from NMN. And I've talked specifically to CEOs of supplement companies. So kind of this junction, you know, of, of all of these intersecting uh, entities and people taking NMN, I get an interesting perspective from all of this that I'm kind of like sharing with you because of all of this and to give you that longer term impact. The first thing that comes to mind when we question whether or not you want to take NMN is the safety of it. Is it safe? When I first started taking it, I thought, well, it's a risk reward you know, scenario, which it still is. However, the longer I take it, the more reduced I view the risk. I'm not recommending you take it. I'm just saying this information is provided for those of you taking it, thinking of taking it, and thinking of stopping. Don't stop if you're taking it and getting results. If you're not getting results yet, keep going because these things can take time, as I'm gonna express here. When I first started taking it, I thought you gotta be like 50 or over and, and experiencing some aging decline to entertain this. It's great that the short-term safety trials have been optimistic, very positive. No safety issues reported from anywhere from six weeks to a few months. But that's not 10 years. If you're 30 or 40, I would say, huh, pump the brakes. After about a year, I made a video and I said, well, I would go back and talk to my 38-year-old self and try to convince him to take anyone if it existed, if I had a time machine, and if I could bring NMN with me or if it existed in some form back then. I'm more open-minded to the people now asking about NMN that are in their 30s. The only thing I would say to anyone considering taking NMN is try to get your NAD levels tested to see if you're even a, you know, a viable candidate to experiencing some improvement. But the more we find out about our food supply or a lack of a proper food supply, the more I start to think, you know, nutrition is such an issue right now that nutritional supplements seem that they're like they matter more than ever. And so I see my own kids suffering from eating too much sugar or eating too much junk food, and I see the effects on their, on their athleticism and on their behavior at times. You can just correlate it directly. Oh, they ate too much sugar, got too much caffeine today from Coke, whatever. I, we, we limit what they get, but I don't ban it probably should, knowing what I know now, but I don't ban it. What we do is we try to offset it with healthy food, fruits, vegetables, salads. We make them eat the stuff that they don't always want to eat. But I let them be kids because I know, you know, they'll just go sneak. They'll just go find another way to get it. That's a tough issue. That's a tough, a tough challenge. But if my own kids are expressing some of the downsides of too much sugar, then imagine someone in their 20s and 30s. And so you begin to look at this and say, well, you know, supplementing in your 20s and 30s probably makes more sense than it did 20, 30, 40 years ago, at least knowing what we know now. And the safety now being in, going in my second year of taking NMN, I'm much more open-minded to even younger people trying it. And at least, you know, get your levels tested and then it, Test them again a few months after you start taking NMN, see if there's a change there. And also factor in for sure, do you feel any better? Are you feeling any results? I've had a lot of different results. The big one for me, I mean, I don't know that the, these are all big. I've got seven big ones. They're all, any number of these seven things, I'd take NMN just for that thing. 
Uh, the first one is mobility, movement. This is something Dr. Vonda Wright talks about and deals with a lot as an orthopedic surgeon. She has her clinic in Orlando, and she treats patients and treats herself with NMN, among other things, among other mobility techniques. For me, I'll give you an example. When I first started playing tennis three years ago, I couldn't move to the balls. If the ball came to me, I'd hit it. If it was over there, I'd maybe think about running to it, but I wouldn't run back, right? So I wasn't really playing tennis because tennis, you play with your feet, and then the shot is the result of getting in position for the shot. If you can't get in position, if you have no mobility, then tennis takes on a different kind of meaning. If you've seen elderly people play tennis, it's a different sport than you play when you're younger, which is a lot more athletic, hitting the ball a lot harder, taking a lot more risks with the ball, and running and moving and using the geometry of the court a lot more when you're younger. So I became very upset playing tennis. I wasn't enjoying it. I say the more I play tennis, the more I understand golf because it's a very frustrating sport. And tennis can be very frustrating. And I remember running to balls. I remember playing the net. I remember putting balls away. And I, I wasn't able to do that early on. And the biggest challenge was seeing a ball that I used to be able to get go by me and then be angry at myself for not moving. After about a year of NMN, I could tell myself to go to that ball and I could hit it and I could tell myself recover and I could get in position for the next ball. And I thought that was a pretty big breakthrough, but it wasn't spontaneous action. It wasn't, oh, there's the ball, just run to it and recover, just automatic. Over the past month or so, I've begun to experience that. Now we're talking almost two full years into taking NMN. Those of you looking for two week results, two month results, this took me two years. And I'm doing a bunch of other NMN-inspired activities to support my taking of NMN. So my mobility is still improving. You know, uh, someone saw me on a tennis court yesterday, and they haven't seen me since last summer, fall. And they go, how are you in better shape now than when the season ended last year? You know, my, mo my mobility key continues to improve. My allergies have continued to improve. I'd take NMN if it only benefited my allergies because I've, I'm such a seasonal sufferer. And then, you know, yeah, I could take Claritin and that would help. But then you're taking something and I always feel, you know, the effects of anything I take. And so it was just like, you'd go for a walk. It'd be a nice, beautiful spring day. I'd be enjoying, you know, the green the flowers, the trees blossoming, and then boom, the pollen would hit. And then I'd be mad that it was spring. <laughs> um, that's gone. So like now I go outside, I go for these walks. Yeah, the warm air, beautiful scenery. We live in a very beautiful area of Germany. It's very pretty here. And I'm not feeling the allergies, even less than last year. So that has progressively improved. My eyesight, I made a whole episode about this topic. My eyesight improved so much, I had to get new lenses after 18 months, and the prescription is significantly changed to the point now I can see 2020. It's correctable to 2020, but it wasn't possible before. The weight loss has continued. Body structure has continued to improve as far as tone. Uh, I'm not bodybuilding. I'm building a tennis body, but I can Sincerely say I have a tennis body now, and that took time, and it's still improving. I'm still improving, right? Two years in. It makes you wonder where, where I'll be five, ten years. I feel better. I always have to laugh when people say, you don't look any better. Well, I'm sorry. I feel better, and that's way more important to me. I feel healthier. I am healthier. My blood levels are healthier. Um, I'm not experiencing the sinus infections or colds that I used to get every few weeks during the winter. I had, I had two very brief episodes of getting a cold um, this winter, and that was it. And it was over bef you know, before I knew it. So there was no extended illnesses, no one or two, three weeks of being sick like in years past, sometimes even over a month. I'm enjoying life more. I enjoy my life more. Um, I'm grateful for NMN. I'm also grateful for you guys because it has given me this accountability to come and talk to you, and I've been able to pursue NMN and the NMN-inspired activities. What do I mean by that? The NMN-inspired activities, there, there were two reasons behind them, two primary reasons behind them. When I started taking NMN, I had more energy, I felt better, but I can't say I was 100%. 
I began to become instantly curious, how far can I turn back the clock? How far can I make this a restorative thing? And so I started to practice all of these things that Sinclair and others talk about to live healthier because I wanted to maximize my results and see, wait a minute, I feel like myself again. Can I feel all the way back? How far, how close can I get? And I would say I'm closer than I ever imagined right now to, to feeling 25. And at times I, I totally do, you know, uh, way often, you know, more often than a year ago, feeling like I'm 25. And that's really awesome. But I don't think I'd be there without these other activities. If matter, matter of fact, I'm sure I wouldn't. Now, we can have a debate how much of it's NMN, how much of it's these other activities. We can talk about that all day. But I was never inspired to do it before. And I was active before for decades. NMN inspired me because I felt better. And so I said, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Now, I know how to work out. I know how to play sports. I know how to run. I know how to do weights. Let me do all that now that I've got this, this help. The, the secondary reason for, for um, living healthier and taking these NMN-inspired actions is going back to the safety. We still don't know what's going to happen for certain in 10 years, 20 years of taking NMN. So I wanted to hedge my bets. I figure, well, if I'm exercising more, if I'm eating healthy, if I reduce my sugar and alcohol to almost nothing, I'll have the best chance. You know, I already am a non-smoker, thank God. Um, I never ate particularly awful, but I did eat some awful things that are pretty much eliminated now. You know, processed foods, another non-starter for me. So those are the reasons I'm doing these activities. And so far, 21 months in, if you add in the two and a half months, I'm, I'm almost at the two-year mark now. I'll really celebrate it more in July because that's two years going ongoing with this channel and with taking NMN full-time. And one year of it being a full-time channel, what I, I don't talk about much, but if you go back and look at my postings, I really wasn't full-time on this channel until one year in. And that's when I really started to get my momentum with all of this. It took time. It took a year to really get, you know, feel like I had momentum underneath me and the channel and my results. And that's built. So a lot of results happen in year two. A lot of improvement happened in year two. It's great that people feel better after a couple months, the majority of people, but you guys, that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just getting started. Now, I mentioned talking to some CEOs. Here's some, some good news, bad news. The good news is one of the CEOs brought up something that hadn't been on my mind. I hadn't really thought much about it. He said, arthritis sufferers. Because I asked him, what are the long-term benefits for your customers of NMN? What are they experiencing? And he said, people with arthritis notice that the symptoms go away. Now, that's awesome. And that puts a face to this whole argument with the FDA. He's like, wait a minute, you're, you're punishing arthritis sufferers, right? Now, the bad news is when they stop taking it, symptoms came back. So while it's restorative, it's not curative. It's preventative, but it doesn't solve the core problem of aging. It is a maintenance program for aging. And that's what NMN boils down to. And, and you kind of, you could surmise this on the surface, right? Just doing some investigation. But after two years of living through this, it really has made this point concrete. And that makes me even more frustrated with FDA's actions. Because basically they're saying, oh, you're, you're suffering from arthritis. F you. <laughs> We're siding with this drug company because they filled out the forms properly. You know, Mr. Public, you have less mobility when you can't take NMN. F you. you know, they're putting the F in FDA. The real F, right? F you. Your allergies went away. Now they're coming back. F you. <laughs> Your eyesight got worse again. F you. We're siding with the drug company. They filled out the forms properly. They filled out the forms. They're, doing, they're playing by the rules. You, Mr. Public, Joe Public, you're not playing by the rules. You can't have mobility. You can't get rid of your arthritis. We're the FDA. F you. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and it really gave me uh, maybe a well-formulated argument to go to Congress and give them something very succinct. Look, I could talk to you all day 
about the benefits of, of NMN. But think of it this way. People suffering from arthritis experience their symptoms going away when they take NMN. How can it be in the public interest for arthritis people to suffer, for arthritis sufferers to have worse symptoms? How can that be in anyone's interest? How can that be in your interest, Mr. Congressman, right, or Congresswoman? How can that be in the public's interest to suffer more just because the drug industry can benefit from this? Listen, they can have NMN as a drug and it still be a supplement. This is the case with vitamin D and many other ingredients. You can prescribe it, right? But also have it exist in the supplement supply. Need to take it more than two weeks you know, to see results. I'm not saying you need to. I'm saying if you want to see results from NMN, it's going to take longer. That's the, the ultimate lesson here. But if you take it away, you're going to go back to suffering. It's not curative. We need to, we need to protect it. You need to take action. You know, FDA needs to pull back on this. Um, Congress needs to act if FDA doesn't pull back on this. In the meantime, you can write your letters to the link in the description. I'll see you again soon. By the way, Post your comments and questions for Dr. Xi on this video because I'm going to talk to him in two days and post that interview, a new interview on the weekend. See you guys then.